After initially deciding against intervening last month, the Supreme Court justices announced they will hold oral arguments on the Texas Heartbeat Act November 1st. But the nation's highest court again decided to leave the law in place, drawing sharp criticism from abortion care providers. 52 days. That's how long we have been forced to act as agents of the state and deny hundreds of our patients the abortion care they need and deserve. Justice Sonia Sotomayor agreed, saying in her opinion, women seeking abortion care in Texas are entitled to relief from this court now. Because of the court's failure to act today, that relief, if it comes, will be too late for many. Abortion opponents feel differently about the court's decision. It's not a surprise, as I said before, but we are excited that the court is leaving this law in place to continue saving lives. Under the state's law, doctors can't perform abortions after they detect cardiac activity. That can happen as early as six weeks, when many women don't know they're pregnant. The law doesn't allow the state or local governments to enforce it. Instead, only private citizens can do so by filing civil lawsuits, leaving abortion providers with potentially costly fines. SMU constitutional law professor Dale Carpenter says the Supreme Court is moving quickly. In fact, I think the last time that I can remember briefing and oral arguments scheduled this quickly was probably more than 20 years ago in the Bush versus Gore 2000 election controversy. And because the nation's highest court decided to hold oral arguments November 1st, Professor Carpenter says he believes that's an indication that the justices will issue a ruling on this case within weeks. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.